In this video, I'm going to teach you about assessment tasks. An assessment task can consist of one or more questions, all of the same assessment type, and may map to one or more units of competency. You may also have more than one assessment task per unit of competency. To begin, let's mouse over the Assessments menu and press Assessment Management. Here, we're shown a list of our published assessments. You can also view drafts and archived assessments by toggling the tabs at the top. You can think of published as active, drafts as under construction, and archived as inactive or deprecated. Next, let's click the plus icon on the menu bar down the left. Firstly, enter an assessment name, and then go ahead and select an assessment type. I'm going to select an online quiz. The passing percentage is the minimum percentage of correct answers required to pass the assessment task. Underneath, we can select a default assessor, though this is not a mandatory field. This user becomes a top level assessor. As with other parts of the system, you can override this later if you wish. The three text fields below allow you to add an assessment overview and additional overall assessment task information for both the assessor and the learner. If you're pasting information from a document, ensure you're using the keyboard shortcut Control or Command Shift V to remove any formatting. You will then need to reapply any formatting you wish once a text is within the Accelerate editor. We have a separate video on this, which I will include in the video description if you have further questions. Note that you can add media and tables to these fields as well, which we will cover in a following video. Once you've finished adding this information, press Create New Assessment at the bottom. You will now be redirected to the Assessment Authoring page. If you need to modify any fields, you can click the Settings icon just next to the name of the assessment task, which will bring out the familiar side panel. After making any changes to your assessment task, make sure to click the Save button in the top right. In summary, this video has explained and demonstrated how to create and update assessment tasks, and also outlined the different states assessments can be in.